Mm. Yo, well, I, I have showed up today. I just noticed that. Mm. Oh, you know what's crazy as well? He's gone for the Zafina pick. Ooh. Yes, so I mean, this is the matchup that I've played, and I feel like quite com comfortable in it because of Zafina's down forward one. I think it makes it, it's a game changer in this matchup, right? Mm -hmm. uh, her down forward one tracks to um, to where AOP naturally goes, which is to the right, right? Mm -hmm. And it's got very low hitbox as well, so it can be very useful. I think that's specifically why he's gone for this matchup here. Okay, nice. Already shot and got down here. <clears throat> I mean, in the spag, you play, uh, you played quite a bit as Zafina yourself. Like, what do you think about this matchup in general? In general, I think it's good. Like, I've, I've played against a very strong link with it, right? And just having options to be able to beat the stance, right? Um, something as safe as a down forward one. Uh, mm. It can be very, very useful. Man. Very useful. Yeah, I guess with something like a down forward one, a move, a button you're going to push anyway. Mm. I mean, that that's just going to catch Ling in situations to get around from you is very important. Yeah, but Kalak hasn't been playing a lot of Zafina, right? So is he going to be ready for it? He's got the first round on the board here, so looking good. But I mean, yeah, he hasn't been playing a lot of Zafina lately. Yeah, absolutely. And remember as well, guys, Kalak is coming out of losing bracket. So he has to win a first to three here to reset the bracket um, and then move on to... And what's important as well is, you know, Kalak is three for three in ICFC Grand Finals. You know, sorry, he's two for two. He's here trying to make it three for three right now. So, you know, he has a bit of a mountain to climb. There's yeah. that back one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Down for one. Cleanly getting stepped there in back turn by Ling. Yeah, you got to yeah. watch out for that because Mr. Croft loves to go into back turn and do the sidestep. And if you try to challenge it, then the punish is there, man. Oh, nice. Nice. Really, really Ready immediately. Three. Yeah. Mm. Um, definitely, uh, this this is a targeted pick. He's not just trying out the Savina. This is something that uh, he's practiced before. It looks it's so good. Yeah. The thing is, you have to think, if you're Mr. Croft in this situation, I think the one person in the entire loser's bracket you wouldn't want to come back to fight you in the grand finals is <laughs> Kalak, you know? Mm. Like, yeah. He was sitting free. He looked so dominant throughout the tournament. He'd beaten Steffi Black. All these top players look so good. And then, you know, Kalak is that one guy coming here to try and, you know, Throw oh. a bit of rain on your parade. Yeah. Mm. That's what he's here to do. He has the characters. He has like, he's so versatile as a player. All his characters are super evasive, so he can take advantage of that whenever he wants. And he's just been so good, you know, during the weeks that he won at just countering what his opponents like to do and everything like that. So you see right here, the targeted pick. Paying off, about to take a three straight. Blaze drive available. Speaking of countering, it was really sick there. Goes for the snake, it's a bit of a Hail Mary there. Uh, mm. Speaking of countering is a bit, uh, Really good there for Miss Cross to just jump over the, I think it was Mantis or Tarantula start Tarantula. and go for the Mitra to get a full launch. So, you know, yeah. he himself is ready for this matchup as well. You know, this is going to be a real back and forth. Oh, and yeah. Just sitting there. Yeah. Miss Croft, though, he actually is doing stuff in this match. It's actually not a shutdown. It would have been if he if kind of like won the last round, but just winning one round can be all the momentum you need, all yeah. the help you need mentally mm -hmm. to get yourself back into the game. Uh, in grand finals, you know you don't want to take you don't want to have to take advantage of the fact that you're up uh, on the winning side. You do want to close it out uh, in the first set oh. because once that second set starts, all the pressure really is on you. Yeah, that was a great hop kick there. And what's interesting as well is like we're in an even a stage class game. Mm -hmm. This is what no, this is sorry. what Kalak would pick anyway if he was to lose a game. So Mr. Croft winning here makes a bit of a statement. Yeah. 2-2 two, two here. Nice. Oh. It's time. You, it goes for the option that was going to beat the AOP, right? So, nice. And look at that huge life deficit. And there's that's one of the only people you see use that janky hop kick, man. <laughs> a lot of work to do. Oh. This is going to do good, though. Mr. Croft, yeah. this is a good chance to go for some setup stuff. Yeah. Oh. yeah there I it sensed is. it like Kayla said. <laughs> chunky, chunky. There it is again. Oh, is that again? We yeah. stopped the whole game. Bro, and that is a big start there from Mr. Croft. Taking the first game over Kalak on the infinite stage. That's normally his home ground, the infinite stage. Right? That that makes a big statement. I think we could see a change of character here for Kalak. You know, hasn't played the Safina in a while. Tried to go for a hit. It was, it looked good. Won the first two games really fast, but Mr. Croft adapted. You know, jumping over the stances, the hop kicks. He's ready. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, I don't think, I, I don't agree with uh, if he if he switches characters here, man. Give it another go. I mean, the, one thing we didn't see there from Kalak was any lateral movement, man. You know, uh, it's mm. something that's very important, especially at the mid range against Ling, is that you want to sidewalk, sidewalk, especially to the left side, because um, a lot of Lings love to use running three. When you block running three with Ling, you're in a mix up. 
So you have to watch out for that sidewalk. If you can sidewalk that running three, then you will get a big combo, right? So it's not something that he was doing a lot. It's not risky to do against Ling at the mid range anyway. So yeah, it's maybe going back to Lily will make him play more fundamentally with his movement. But other than that, man, I mean, I'm just thinking about Lily versus Ling. I don't know. Like, maybe he prefers maybe he prefers this one. Yeah, the jump forward one, as you guys were saying, like, um, for Safina is really, really solid. I don't yeah. know what Lily has. Um, I don't think she's anything great to be dealing with AOP, um, but I could be wrong. I'm not a Lily player. Well, AOP didn't really come into play much in that match. No, no actually, yeah, you were right. Running through was blocked, right? It was more the back turn, when she was back turn and sidestepped. So we'll see what he chooses to go for here. He's going to go for the Lily, yeah? So he isn't losers. He doesn't have that cushion to be able to experiment with any other character. So the main character is coming out here. And, you know, this is the character he's done all the work with today that we've seen. He's, you know, looks so infallible with that Lily, uh, except when he... <clears throat> who put him in losers, actually, now that I think about it? Mm-hmm. Who... Um, who put Calic in losers? Yeah. It wasn't... It, oh, wasn't, it, was, it was Kira. Kira. It was Kira, Kira, Kira yeah. Kira, yeah. And then he got the run back using the Lily, so, you know, no one's taken out the Lily completely today, you know. Kira did yeah. win, but, you know, he got the he got the revenge. Yeah, and it was it was three zero once he picked Lily. You know he had that Negan pick, which was Round odd. Um, <clears throat> maybe, we're gonna have of, maybe we're gonna see a lot of standing three. That's a good like little mid to use back ones, of course, as as usual from Kalak. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa. Oh man, the Matterhorns are coming out. Mhm. Mm Potter, um, tiny little hitbox there. Nice job. I mean, look at the win streak right now for Kalak as well. You know, this just shows the tail of the tape of his Lily. Yeah. yeah. Nice oh, break of the throw. Wow. <clears throat> Playing a footsie game here. Ooh. Nice. That's one way to catch AOT. <coughs> Not going to be dead, but a mix here is going to be really important. Try that back one. Nice patience from Kalak and... <gasps> what? Stay down. Stay down. Oh, that step was so nice. Wow. Bro, what was that? I can understand the jump over here. I understand that. I don't understand why the back turn move just whiffed on AOP, but well. Yeah, that's mad. Good Oki. Mm. And here we get a perfect. And the thing is, we, we could have a potentially really long set here. So this is the best chance for three perfects. So Kalak yeah. started off good here. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> and remember, now we're seeing the lateral movement, which you weren't seeing in that last match with Zafina. Zafina could have been a good choice, but the sidewalks weren't there. Now they're coming out. Yeah, so I'd say Matterhorn is just uh, kicking ass here in this matchup. Okay. Wow. Both choice yeah. going for highs against Ling and AOP. Rage is available. There it is. Oh, oh one went straight into back turn. Is the wall going to mess up the combo? Oh, yes, it is. But oh. it's just like last round, Kalik took the first two rounds. Oh, no. Winning the third. He made the comeback last game. Is he going to be able to steal this one as well? That would truly suck if you're Kalik. Yeah, yeah. Crop is adapting though. Yeah. Really quick. Yeah. He's the same as last time. When goes up two games, is it yep. going to buy him the buck? Across. He's looking stronger now that he was down in the, in the, in the game. Yeah. Charged up, man. Oh, oh Harry. 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 Yeah. They're on point. Now we're seeing someone challenge Kalax lows. What's that going to make him do? More lows. What wow. So hell? many setups. A good defense oh, from nice. Kalax. The walls, blocked, blocked a lot of stuff there. Mm. Oh. Neutral hot kick. We didn't see much of it. Here it is again. Yeah. Hey, hey, is he going to jump over? Yes, he is. After my Rage life. available. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, nice. He was hoping for the duck there. You can see that. Just run up back. Uh, donkey kick, like instead of the Rage Art. Um, or the Rage 5, sorry. Um, so, Kalak here actually only needs two more perfects throughout this entire set. If he resets the bracket, you know, uh, just two perfects and my bounty is completed. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> that's that's good, but a good start from Kai. The, the Lily hasn't lost much today. Like, yeah, he lost to Kira Kira, but since then, been kind of unstoppable. You know, <clears throat> 2 0 Sefi Black, 2 0 Eddie, uh, and then 3 0 against Kira Kira once he finally went to the Lily. So, you know, the Lily's been looking really good right now, but, you know, Mr. Croft, he, he was, it wasn't, it's not like it was free, like he was, he was fighting back, he knew what to do. So, this one is really, I feel like this one's really going to go the distance. I think we might get a bracket reset here, but this one's really anyone's game to call. You know, these were my picks, both of them my picks to win the tournament right now. So, 
you know, these two are really showing why I'm the smartest person on the planet yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, you lost all your money. You shut up, innit? You got no money. You got no fans, <laughs> no money. <laughs> no <Yeah>. money. <laughs> yeah, so the, the chat actually did say the Palak there, 68% to 32. Um, and I just want to give a special shout out to Leo George. Who uh, put in 14.6 thousand shields oh. into this man? Going Gee. on, Kalak. I haven't yeah. when I had that much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know what? Look, listen, look at this. We're going into the next match, right? And I think that now Mr. Croft is going to start to adapt as well. So, what he needs to do is try to stop Kalak from just, you know, openly sidewalking, man. It's something that really caught him off guard. Um, Lily Sidewalk is super, super strong, right? So, if, if Croft can can use his options to stop, stop Kalak from doing that, we might see a, a bit of a turnaround. And one thing about this as well, as Kalak opens up with the mouth on his. The thing about playing longer sets with the Ling, and especially against someone like Mr. Croft, is you're always making decisions on defense and even on your wake up, right? And it can get really uh, fatiguing to continue making decisions in, in like, just on how to get up so over yeah. and over and over again. So the longer this set goes on, the more that could end up weighing on Kalak. But and he's someone who just um, seems to not really care oh. in, that, in that type of thing. But nice with punish there from Mr. Croft. Yeah. Yeah, the movement here with both players um, is just so strong. Mm. Nice break. Really wanted that. Mm. That's the move that's been hitting the highest success rate out of all the AOP options for Mr. Croft. He's probably going to exploit that as much as he can until Kalex starts blocking. I know a lot of Shayu players who try to get as much mileage out of that as possible. Yeah, yeah that was a great block there from the Mr. Croft, you know. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> Slide my own now. Lily just looked like a whole Beyblade. What the hell was that? <laughs> Got it, dude. Jeez, huh? All right, the back one. Trying to stop her here. That's going to be using Lily propaganda, that clip. <laughs> Me and the Lily. Wow. <laughs> Nobody could break Kalex's regular throws today. And oh. Oh, is it really that nasty with the throw mix up? Because Lily doesn't really have one. I think people just expect the 1 plus 2 all the time, right? So. <laughs> they're just like yeah. crazy. Okay. It's been working on everybody. <laughs> Speaking of things that work. Wake up, neutral hop kick. Man, this kid is insane. Oh my god, down for three, sit down. Okay, spacing them out here a little bit. Mm -hmm. A lot of oh. change in pacing. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. 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 Drops it. Okay. Tag with a tiny oh. life lead right now, a lot of time gone. Yeah, 22 seconds left. Regular throw broken, but it does put uh, Mr. Cross back to the wall. Just like that, he's away and oh, oh, mid truck. Oh, 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 gonna be a lot of damage here. Having a lot. No. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. Beautiful. Not the first time he's done that. Oh, yeah. Manual oh. AOP to avoid the wake up Fight. kicks. Shall you players definitely want to be taking notes? That's not something that everybody does with this character. Yeah, just what a play there. Croft now one round away from going up 2 1 in the winner's side as well. Right. I like two for two in ICFC Grand Finals right now. Mm. Yeah, he's not looking too hot here though. Oh wait though, he's in the lead here in this round. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Wow. That's a big whiff there. Should have been able to punish that Kalak. What the size there? Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. These guys are, are it's like yeah. two snakes fighting inside a sock. It's getting messy now. <laughs> like having a dance party right now. Yeah, man. Nice break on the two throw instantly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kalak does have the life lead right now, about 18 seconds left to go as well. Running three, there's the mix, the AOP slide. Mm -hmm. Just stuff like that, getting hit by that, you have to make a, a decision, a huge decision to wake up. Mm. 10 seconds left. Oh, oh. Rage uh, yeah, yeah, coming. Yeah. Oh, I can't no. believe that whip. That, that would have hit. Oh, well. and that should be the round, unless a rage up. No. Yeah. No, it's. Went Going for the second hit as well, just in case he blocked the low and tried to punish. Mr. Croft is looking so on point. He is one match away from winning ICFC this week, week number five. And he will get onto the board as well on the top eight with this win. What can Kalak do here, lads? So the thing is, you know what's so interesting about the, the ending is Mr. Croft went and did that low. And it's like, first of all, it's interesting that he went straight for the kill like uh, less than two seconds. But if Kalak did wake up Rager, it actually probably would have low crushed. So that was, that was very interesting right there. But yeah, you know, we've said this before, Mr. Croft, Potentially the best player in Austria, really been putting on the show today. Looks so dominant with that Ling. And this is the first time we've seen Kalak down like this. You know, like if he's ever down like this in the grand finals, it's because he's on the winner's side, just testing out a character. 
but this is he's on the loser side right now like one more game and it's game over the character that kalak picks right now he has to stick with until the entire reset yeah i don't know should he go back to the zafina i mean i don't it, i i just I think, think it was zafina. yeah i don't think it's a zafina it, i don't mind either lily or kunimitsu kunimitsu is another character that you know when suddenly his backs to the wall he just picks kunimitsu and that's really, really good. That's a character that bailed him out of some grand finals when he won the tournament. So might as well use this. You know, we talk about how he's up in points. So this tournament doesn't matter as much yeah. to him as far as points mm. are concerned. I'm sure he still wants that prize money, though. But yeah, um, it was just these these weird moments that where Mr. Croft's able to steal rounds. He has to secure the rounds that he's up. It's just don't get caught whiffing wake up kicks because he manual AOP. You know, these so these super situational things. That mm. only happened once every blue moon. He's got to have those, you know, not happen again. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, now he's stuck with the Lily. I respect yep. the decision. It's the character that's got him this far. You know, he's sticking it out. And this is this could be potential final, final game here, you know. Yeah, I'm locked in now. We've gone to the infinite stage, though, so more space to move around here. Oh, oh the incident was sending too Rob. messed up. Yeah, side oh, grab. Raw. Side there. It was a very hard to break. Man, he's so good at manual AOP. I've never seen a player do that good and just Art of Phoenix. Hey, look at that. What? Oh yeah. my he goodness. But can't even hit pick. him. Mm. He's just out of nowhere, man. Oh, oh, man. oh man. man. Looking like a champion Dude. right now. What Damn. an AOP. Man, Croc what? knows what's up, man. He's got this. Like, like the thing is like people like you see these this isn't just some random online link play like that's that's knowledge of knowing what's coming and beating the option perfectly you know like this isn't yeah. just random aop stuff right now this is some in-depth knowledge this is someone who's been in that situation before who's practiced it many times in and out of the game you know like this is really impressive stuff from mr croft yeah definitely 50 percent oh, that, but that was bullshit. Uh, that, that, <laughs> that, that was some Running through, just beating back one there, but there's oh, the new drop kick. I mean, wake up, neutral half kick, man. That's gotta hurt your feelings to get hit by. Damn, man. Nice, yeah, okay, gets that low. Yeah. Evens up the round count now. This is so important for Kalak, and I don't think we have had a perfect yet. My bounty might go unclaimed. You had one in the start, right? Yeah, that was yeah, it. Got one. Yeah. Okay. Nice, no, parry. no parry from Mr. As someone who's played Mr. Croft in long sets, like. Mm -hmm. I can feel I can feel the the decision starting to waver now for Kalak, but gets another neutral hot kick. I mean, yeah. I don't understand what this read is that he has, but it's working. That, that's his special, though, isn't it? He just yeah. throws them out there because they're really hard to punish as well because they're so neutral. Like you know, the up one is, uh, is quite difficult to punish. Mm. Rich go slide. Ooh. Oh, oh there you go. no. Rain. So Rain's some very important now. resources are gone now, and Kalak has a nice, healthy life. Yeah. Don't. Be careful. In. Oh, oh, oh could have punished them all. Punish there. Ten seconds left. It's a missive heal. He has to go. And there's that running through again. Oh, no. Oh. He's just going to stay down or something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Lucky. Lucky. Maybe four, four, three, maybe. Fight. Oh, man. Literally. Saved by the bell. One second, one second, and Mr. Croft wins that round and takes us to tournament point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh Kalak is riding this high here now. Look at this. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Good, Good parry. parry though. Oh, and you can't that do that in Kalak, say. So. Oh, range grab, though. Max range. Yeah, not going to be a lot of damage, though. Ling's range grab, not the best for damage, but gets a reset, but doesn't get much from it. Nice. Oh, all right, Kalak answering back here now. 2-2. Two, two. I like right. this. I like this. Kalak was, was literally at death's door. All it would have took, take, took an, all it would have took <laughs> is an extra second, and that would have been it. I mean, you know, these are these are the tiniest of margins that we're playing with right now, and yeah. Uh, I'm telling uh, you, the last five seconds of a second round are the longest five seconds you'll ever live in your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> like they just it's, it's, it's it's just true squeaky bum time. That is the, <laughs> that is the truest of squeaky bum time. You know. Dude, if, if you don't bring out a t-shirt now, I'm gonna be real <laughs> upset. Like, you know, I wanna see I wanna see what the uh, image on that like. I know Spag felt that squeaky bum time. I know he felt it. I could feel <laughs> that he felt it. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm not gonna even cast man, I felt it that time, man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm starting to understand what this is, man. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm enlightened. Uh, but yeah, final match, guys, is 2-2 in the re reset. We, don't, we haven't even reset yet. The uh, 
the, the first set of the grand finals. Potential to go into the reset here if Kalak can win the match coming up. Now, where is Mr. Croft going to go? I don't think he's going to switch away from Ling, but he is going to have a stage pick now. What is it going to be for the final match of this first Dragon's set? Dragon's Nest has definitely okay. been on stage. Yeah. He's pretty yeah, yeah, much yeah, undefeated yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Um, why is squeaky bum though? <laughs> um, yeah, the really, really small stage. Um, Link can kind of bounce around around you rather than around the stage, you know. Um, but let's see potential final game of the tournament here. Potential, but Kalak definitely does have the momentum. He just won the last game. Oh yeah. What a magic four. And Ling's Magic 4 is very good, man. He's very strong. I think underrated. Yeah, for sure. She gets an easy combo and everything like that. Yeah. Oof. Regular hot kick that time for Kalak. Yeah. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I got one of my own, bro. Mm. I'm going to go to the wall as well. This is very big because Ling, Oki, wall. Oh, Doesn't yeah. get much from it, though. Misjudged the, uh, where the wall was going to be there with the combo. Yeah, Croft with a tiny, tiny life lead right now. Mm -hmm. A small gust of wind will take it away, but oh. great punish there. You love to show the punishes. It's so sick, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my <laughs> Just overextending a teeny tiny bit too much, and Kalak was ready for it. Great wall bounce punish as well. Great awareness of the stage. Yeah, it's yeah, such was... a good wall bounce there as a, as a whiff punisher as well. That's standing three. Huge mistake from Mr. Croft. Oh, slam it down. Mm. Okay. Mr. Croft Cro again with a small life lead. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Oh, just lost it. Oh, doesn't break the one plus two throw and gets up. Oh, no. Is it falling apart now for Mr. Croft? What? Oh, oh my god. Oh, and he. Oh, 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 oh. How much the process. That's, that's gotta hurt. That's, that's really gotta hurt. Kalak could have won that match. No he could have won the round. He should have no won way. the round already. The move. No way, no way, no way. Oh, and I <sighs> Kalak oh, is now on reset point, ladies and lads. Fight. Is he going to be able to do it, or can Mr. Croft win the tournament here with a reverse sweep? Kalak was literally on death's door. Punish that. I don't yeah, agree with punish. standing three to, to punish something like that, yeah. you know. I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it gives him the option for like a reset or something. I don't know. Nerves are, I think, coming into play right now. Mr. Croft, like, mm. since the finish line, but it was so yeah. close, yet so far away. Oh, oh no, and that's a very good punish there for Kalak. Oh yeah! The one with a rage okay. right. So bounty claim, JDCR's bounty. We're gonna have an Astro giveaway. Make sure you follow him on Twitter. And I'm gonna get, a reset. get the bounty. We might have a reset right now. Block the rage drive. Oh yep. the mid. Ladies and lads, we have a reset grand finals here for ICFC week number five. It is not over. It is not over by any means. Mr. Croft Kalak gonna be going into a fresh new set the final set of today a first to three to decide it all can kalak get the three time or will mr croft get his first one on the board here for icfc guys what are we thinking man i mean this is if you're mr croft you're going to be kicking yourself right now like like i said a, a number of times kalak was on death's door he was literally like he was dying he was coughing up blood he was he was crawling he could see heaven's gates but you know, the thing with Kalak, Kalak's like a roach. It doesn't matter how many times you step on him. He isn't <laughs> dead until you just really take care of him, right? You know, you, you... and the thing is like Root of Evil, that's like him stepping on a roach. He's stepping on himself, you know, like you just can't get rid of this guy until he is dead. So it ain't over till it's over. And Kalak is the epitome of that with his play here right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to see anything uh, different than Lily uh, and, and Ling from here on out, right? I think there's Athena. Could have worked, right? Was close to getting that first match, but you know, should be Lily Ling all the way, and uh, should be a, a random select, right? Because um, it's a fresh new set. Should yeah. be, man. Yeah. Kalix looks really, really strong right now because last set uh, went exactly how Mr. Croft would have wanted to. Like they random the infinite stage, something that was in Kalix's favor, and he still won. So he took like Smacks at home court advantage, and it mm. all led up to the last game where Mr. Croft got the stage he wanted. He got every all the conditions he wanted, and He's just unable to deliver. So that's going to hurt him mentally. Kalik, on the other hand, just pretty much doing what he does. You know, he's the two-time champion and uh, former two-time champion. So he's going to want to, uh, he knows he knows what to do. He's in this, He's been in this spot before. Um, this is where he really turns it up. This is where he, like, plays his best Tekken. And I'm sorry, I feel like Kalak should be the one betting here because his luck is incredible. Another yeah. random select stage, and it is an infinite. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But he has to make it count. He really has to make it count. This could still yeah, go either way. Didn't do that I mean, last, last time it was the Zafina, though. Mm. Yeah. Right. Mm. Nice. Well, very good Ooh, one there from Mr. Croft. Yeah. But this is where Mr. Croft really has to show mental toughness here right now, you know. Mm. This <coughs> is hard. Definitely going to be counting the like the unnecessary mistakes that Mr. Croft makes right now, just to see how much like that last set really affected him moving forward. Because that's kind of how things go when you lose a heartbreaker. Like you start to you know fatigue even more. Mm. A nice, looking good right now. The AOP sweet, and yeah, the O key off that is just so annoying. You're always yeah. guessing. You don't know how to get up all the time. You know, this thing, I've been in Mr. Croft's position, right? You know, you've had such a strong tournament. You've looked so good. You get to the grand finals. You're looking in good shape, and then things slowly start to crawl away through your fingers. So it's up to him to really make that count, but that's not the punish there. And that was Man. a great punish right back from Kalak. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was so good. It froze the game. Uh, Imagine yeah. just a new slow-mo. Bro, Lily's arm, look at Lily's look at arm, it's mad weird, you know? Look at that arm, you sharp elbows, man. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Like, too many back ones. <laughs> can we get analysis on that arm? It looks kind of gross. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. That was, we're probably going to get that reset there. Do not worry. This is an online tournament. These things are going to happen. It's just really annoying when it happens in a grand finals reset. You know, two people have just been clashing heads and going back and forth, and yeah, you don't you, you don't want that breaking momentum. But man, looking at the way the Calico's playing there, right, the punish on the shoulder. Yeah, I mean, this guy is definitely feeling it. He's in the zone at the moment. Um, Croft has to be careful here uh, in how he approaches, because when 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 Calico gets going, we all know how how hard it is to stop. But um, I mean, Anakin, what are you what are you seeing from the side of Mr. Croft? Even in just those kind of maybe the last match and, and the beginning of this one. Anything you think that he should be doing that he's not doing? He's doing everything right. And, like, I feel like in the most like clutch situation, the pressure situation, he really is hard to look at. He wasn't playing how he usually plays. But people, when you know, earlier in the set, he was playing so confidently, and as a result, he was very, very fast. But, but like, later on in the set, like the moments mattered, there was more hesitation. I could see it. Where normally he would go for an attack, go, you know, go crazy. That was what was working. He kind of started like trying to be solid. Trying to off a little bit on that but to come out in the second set and win that first round on the wall it was encouraging that's pretty much what just happened and i think he's definitely not out of it yet like as a, as you come that far you know uh you're not gonna just give up after losing a hard fought set especially when like Calic has shown that he's not perfect either he has some, some weird game as well. mm -hmm. yeah yeah absolutely man um so we're going to be getting locked and loaded back into this this game uh, ASAP. Um, probably with, I, I don't know who was winning the match. I think um, it might have been one round to Kallax, so we might reset from them. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, yeah, we'll get back uh, as soon as possible. But guys, uh, it is reset grand finals for just tuning in. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, the, the match arena is still up. If you guys want to go and head, go ahead and click the link in the chat and, and donate, it um, be much, much appreciated. I think we're getting close to 300. Maybe we've passed 300 now, I don't know. But um, after this will be happening, the, the the North America ICFC over at Level Up Your Game. So, you know, when this one is finished, you know, get ready to watch some American, North American action uh, as well. So yeah, the, the action don't stop here on the Wednesdays for ICFC. Yo, Mike Jack, just checking in. We good? Yeah, we good, we good. All right, good. my whole explanation just, it was too, too, too proper. <laughs> they, didn't want, they didn't want Mr. Croft to hear because he was going to take that and win with it. I think that's what happened. <laughs> it was secret, secret tech. Yeah. Do you want to give us a little a little, a little uh, nutshell version of what you were saying? No, no. Basically, he was just too passive when it was clutch. I mean, usually, he's going crazy. He's doing all this crazy stuff, manual, RDS, and stuff like that. That's pretty much what worked. But when it was like the final moments of that set, he started hesitating a little bit. The timing was off. He lost the step. And that's, that's not something you want to do. But like he won that first round just now in the reset. And that just kind of makes him, it just seems like he's still in it. You know I mean? Like, if, if I'm looking at Calic, I just expect him to dominate, but I don't, that's not what happened in the first round. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we get those. I don't know, guys. How did this reset the momentum? You guys have been there in tournaments before, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, oh. a cooler moment right here to put it back. Both players will have more time to think right here. They're loading up and everything. I think they just have to work out the details of what happened and who's going to take what round. But Mr. Croft did earn himself uh, uh, a fine round there. Every round counts. Mm. 
Yeah. That's the prize pool. We're in grand finals now, so we're at two hundred eighty dollars fifty cents. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Hit box, of course, with the hundred dollars every week. So shout to Hit Box. Want to learn mm. more about them? You know, BoxArcade.com slash ICFG. We're at it too. Thank you, everybody, for contributing. You know, the promo code has been used up. It's not too late. So put in your own money if you want. Like Fish Point Matt Torino in the chat, and then on that link, the contribute button. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for the donations, man. Let's see if we can get that closer and closer to that 300 mark by the end of the grand finals. We've had a crazy, crazy day. And of course, all the donations, I mean, all the, the it's going to go towards the prize pool and the players that have given us some amazing moments um, today uh, already, man, in this European ICFC week number five. But yeah, we're just getting, uh, we're just waiting to get into um, into the match again. Am I right in saying so? The bounty actually was activated, right? We managed to beat the bounty with uh, JDCR's. Uh, JDCR's one, yes. Yeah. The bounty was yeah. completed. You know, what's the Tekken I'm King to a Tekken God is still oh, active. Really and, and the thing is, uh, so wait. So d is the perfect still active for Kalak now? Because we haven't got a reset, so. I don't think no, that. no, no. I, I think you have to say that it's uh, it's a new set now, and it? it's a new, a new uh, one. He's trying to push it. Yeah. <laughs> tore it. <laughs> I'm a king for God, bro. <laughs> what? Alrighty, here we go. We're going back to the, uh, the Arctic Snowfall. I th I don't know if we're going to reset to the rounds as well before the... Round one. Let's find oh, out. Next cap. No, we're not. going straight back in. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh my wow. goodness, I mean, Kalak just, he's decided, you know, yeah, it's reset. We had a bit of a technical issue. I'm just going to go straight balls to the wall. Like, why not, you know? <laughs> why not? I mean, zero, zero. Yeah. OP sweep, man. The Oki off of that is so terrifying. Yeah, it's a damaging low, man. And it's the Oki is, is scary, especially the fact that you can get launched from it as well. If you made yeah. the wrong choice. Just make the right choice. That's the answer. <laughs> just guess. Just guess correctly. Guess right, man. Mm. Rage available now for Kalak. Is he going to use it? Run off stair down. Oh, nice. Damn, like, that was very nice for uh, what Kalak did there. Just the back one into the snake step and then side sidestep to bait retaliation and a nice whiff punish. Oh. Man, everybody's playing super careful now today. Mm, yeah. That happened before. Yeah. That's not the punish, oh. Mr. Croft. That's the punish, though. I like that a lot better than the standing three. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Mr. Croft's going to use more uh, RDF sweep, because that was something I remember just in the first set and throughout the day being like one of his main moves. When he needed help, when he was down, that was like part of that, that, was part of that round where he almost made that scoop for clutch comeback. So yeah. I would like to see more of that if I were him. Ooh. And also to mix it up. Oh, yeah, make that current hop kick even stronger if he can make that sweep work. And he's already done that. You know what, the back turn hop kick, that's a good op option to go for because the generic back turn option is, is the Mitros, the back turn four. Uh, but that is launch punishable if blocked, so you know, good option to go for. And yes, yeah, speaking of launch punishable, blocking another Matterhorn. Kalak coming yeah. a bit too party happy right now. I mean, they've been working out for him, right? So he's got the confidence in using it, but as, as soon as they start getting blocked and punished, I mean, he's going to have to be a little bit more reserved, right? Mm. Yeah. Regular throw broken. You can see Mr. Croft playing just a little bit more patient here, waiting on those big ladder horns and stuff like that, just so we can low parry and take the advantage. Mm. And you can a lot of easy stuff there in the replay. Oh, oh you know what? He was so patient on the neutral hop kick, and there's his reward a Matterhorn. <laughs> <laughs> that Lily sidewalk in play there, guys. The mm. one of the best sidewalks in the game. I mean, right around Link gets the punish. Oh, submissive heal. Oy. Oh boy! Lovely, right. lovely timing there from Kalak. Yeah, and who gets a Matterhorn block? Oh. Just to use it the third time. That was and there's the perfect. There it Pretty is. Close. So this is it's a new set, right? So that's the first perfect. First perfect. Okay, yeah, that's first the, the first perfect. So good. I mean, Kalak. You know, he's looking comfortable. He's doing what he wants. The Matterhorns are hitting. Punishment's on point, you know, this is this is gonna be really uphill right now for uh, Mr. Croft. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you think about it mentally, right? This is this is the situation now where Kalak has taken the lead, where you had you you were sitting in winner's side, you had this massive cushion to be able to play and and not have much stress on your shoulders, and now all of a sudden it went to a final match, it it, it went in Kalak's favor, and now you're losing, right? You're down 1-0 in the reset grand finals. It's going to be tough mentally for him to come back, but he can do it. I mean, it's um it's his stage choice now. I think if Kalak managed to win this one, it's going to be rough. Very important match coming up. Definitely yeah. slipping play, right? Mr. Krav has the best day ever, 2 zeroing everybody, and now it's, uh, it's finally slowing down a bit, and it's like, the guy is up there. You can't make mistakes against players like that. They're just going to make you whip, you're going to do everything. Yeah. And Zhao Yu is easy to whip because you have to put yourself out there a lot. You have to go for stuff as that character is. Darren Turlock makes you just have the best defensive tools. Her hop kick, the range isn't that great, and everything like that outside of AOP. You know, that's all you got. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Diomo de Sidio here. He has given up on Dragon's Nest. Didn't work out for him. So this is this is going to be a big one right now. You know, this this game's this is really important. If Kalak takes this, I feel like, you know, the 3-0 is in place. He's ready to go. He's, uh, he's, the momentum's all in his favor right now. You know, all the Matterhorns are hitting. And even when they're blocked, like you can see Ling's punishment off the uh, the downfall too. Isn't, like, the damage isn't that great compared to the damage that Kalak gets off of a Matterhorn. So... Risk reward really in his favor. Mm. Starting their match off with the neutral hop kick. Like, yeah, here we go. Yeah, the little walk there to the side. This is our grand finals, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the bracket reset. Great oh, duck there from Kalak. He's on point right now. Goes for the back turn max damage combo as well. Oh, Great no. punish. And is this a perfect? Did I just curse it? No. Yeah, oh, I did. Just I did. The combo. Yep. yep. Oh. I cursed it. Combo. Yeah, yeah, I cursed it. I cursed it. <laughs> I, I, I think the combo would have killed, right? The one no, yeah, the, the combo would have killed, but because I said that, Kalak didn't do the combo and I cursed it. it was my, that was my fault. Sorry. I think Kalak's trolling you. Uh, <laughs> I think he's, trolling you. he's listening to the stream like in real time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. he's down for three. Yeah. Oh, oh but it doesn't break the wall. Oh, some weird infractions oh, here. Oh, yeah. Damn. That Mr. Croft, you're not out of this yet. Very weird uh, situation there in the wall. Croft gets the round. Mm-hmm. Oh. He's testing. Keeping, keeping the distance here. Kali roll into nothing. Oh, oh my God. God. He found something where he's just laying all these Matterhorns. Yeah. Kalik really wants this round because if he wins this round, he's poised to take the game and go up 2-0 in the reset, which is yeah. pretty much, you know, end of story right there a lot of times. Oh, great, what a great punish there from Kalak. So good. Everything's Especially working. Mm. Yeah, we're back, back to though. the breakable wall right now. Yep. Uh -oh. oh, my God. One more hit takes this generic downfall. Ooh, wow. Swept, wasn't watching the spacing. Really back turn, you want to give a little bit of respect. Mm. Yeah. Kalak is getting very comfortable as well. With, well oh my god, I was about to say with cross timing. And look at that, just runs right into like a, a Matterhorn. Green rank match over here, all these Matterhorns. Damn, man, yeah. True, it's the biggest launch in the game. Class. I, <laughs> I know you wanted the Chaos, I know you wanted the perfect there. Yeah, but I didn't say it that time. Oh, oh here we go. Infinite, infinite. Oh. Oh. Tried. This is where Kalex deadly. He's got the wall break, wall bounce move. The yeah, patience of Hell rounds from. Oh, oh, oh big whiff on that. that yeah. One of the first times he's whiffed that, you know. I think Mr. Croft getting a little bit desperate right now. <laughs> nice. Maybe right. that was another size that Matt Horn didn't work out. Okay. Mr. looking yeah, really good working. right now. Ooh. This is a crucial, crucial round here. The difference between 2-0 and 1-1. So important, especially in the reset grand finals. Yeah, just even for your own mentality here going into um, the third game between these two in the reset. <laughs> yeah. Submissive Ooh. heal, down back to counter hit. <laughs> really a big reward oh, for down back nice to counter hit. Cool. But there is a reward for that. Yep. Okay. Going for some shenanigans there. Croft looking nice. But Kalak slowly pulling away. Wait. About even on life right now. One launch ends it for either player. And no rage available for, for Link either. No rage drive. Oh, no, no way. Oh, okay. It's not dead. Oh. He choked. Oh, my God. What the hell just happened there? That was insane. 
Mr. Croft, that's a huge choke. That's oh, that's that's a big one. I mean, it's hard to catch that one online. Caught him in the air, and it was a very situational conversion. He was just a split second too late. He even could have maybe done RDS too. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's just it, like I said in those clutch situations, it's like Mr. Croft is not really fully himself, right? Not fully confident in the moves, the decisions he has to make. So. A little bit of hesitation, and in a moment like that, man, you're gonna blow the game. Yeah, yeah, and you know, Kalak sitting very pretty right now. He is up to a. Three he's reset away. the bracket. The lilies looked good. Mr. Croft, he doesn't know what stage to pick. Dragon's Nest didn't work. Diomi the Serio didn't work. You know, his back's against the wall. He's, you know, I, I, I'm saying I feel for Mr. Croft right now. I've been in this situation. You're looking so good in the grand finals. You had all the momentum in your favor, and suddenly things are just starting to slip through your fingers and how do you maneuver this well it's, it's like what Anakin was saying right like you said those those little situations where you can maximize off small opportunities if you're not taking those then then the rounds can quickly turn to the other to, to the opponent and those rounds can convert into matches and momentum and it's just not looking good he's gone to the jungle outpost with yet another balcony yeah. break stage but I guess the stages doesn't matter here because even if he wins this match, Kalak will have the stage choice, right? So he just needs to play some solid Tekken from here on out. Do not drop any opportunities if he wants this reverse sweep. He needs to win three rounds, three matches in a row. Ladies and lads, here we go. Kalak looking to make it a triple, a hat trick here for ICFC. And this is the thing, Jungle Outpost 2, this... He has no camo to hide behind here, you know, so... I was about to say, this is your stage, Kalak. Yeah. I've actually stopped picking it. I yeah, lose on this stage all the time now. I'll stop picking it. Yeah, I noticed that last week. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, no no big, big triggers being pulled just yet. Everybody is uh, taking their time. Moving in and out. Wow. Just as you say that, Sam, you might yeah. have cursed it there. That's it, man. Oh, oh. And this is this is where Kalak becomes confident and just starts throwing things out, you know? Like we we saw this two weeks ago with his winners final against Pika. He just started like not doing things, not finishing combos, playing super confident, just being really weird. And you know this could come back to bite him, but you know the momentum's firmly in his favor. Oh, oh, no, no, no. opportunities and those you can't drop. Okay, yeah. Mr. Croft not out of it yet. No, he hasn't got long left. Time's coming off factor. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh, this, is, this is this is the squeakiest of bums right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how you're gonna make Kalak, um, how you're gonna humble Kalak down. He's got a two match lead here, man. He's allowed to take risks. Yeah. Mm. Every, I, I mean, everyone else will be doing it in his position too. Mm. Oh, oh, and able to back row, but nice low parry. I mean, this is a good round now for Mr. Croft. Can he capitalize on this? Mm. I like that. Oh, doesn't got, get much from it. Regular throw broken. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, Croft. Good round. round like Miss, confidence boosting. Mr. Croft is having like good, good moments in these rounds. Like he's shining bright. But... Yeah. Kalak is just a steamroller right now, isn't he? Yeah. He's got a... See what aggression here from Kalak, man. Trying to finish it early. Yeah. <laughs> he's tired, man. He wants to go to bed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Second time he's done that. That's one of those strings where you duck them, you know this player is ready. Mm. Oh, oh no. that's unfortunate as well. Still gets the wall, but you know, could have been more damage, but gets the throw. Mr. Croft has to put that behind him. Regular throw pushes back to the wall. We're talking about behind him. Oh no. Oh, look at this. Kalak Kal Kal just keeping down. him check. Ooh, one more out, ladies and gentlemen. For all you Croft fans out there, you want to be uh, giving him your key right now, man. He needs it. He needs it. Like, Mr. Croft was so close to killing Kalak before the reset. <laughs> he was looking so good all day, man. It's all downhill from there. This is the thing about Kalak. He just makes you play so ugly. You know? <laughs> Look at this. Down four, down four. Just poking away. Buttons into buttons. 30 seconds gone. Oh, nice. Get the pick up as well. Yeah. Okay. On the little gap there. What have, what have you got for us, Croft? What have you got for us? Oh, oh no. Oh. That could have been a launch. That could have been much worse. He has to put that behind him. 15 seconds left. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Yes. I oh. don't think this is dead, but it's... Oh, no, parry. You need the rage out, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Right, 2-2. Two, two. Final, Final round. round. What? I'm gonna get a bit plumped here again. Let's go! Oh. Okay. Just pushing in a little bit here. You like it? What a step sidewalk around this mm -hmm. one. All right. Kalak. Yeah. He's looking so bleak. What's he gonna do? Oh! Last chance. No. And there we go. Kalak is gonna be your ICFC week number five champion here. Taking it from the loser's side. What an amazing run. Three time champion now here for ICFC. Number one by a very, very long mile, man. What a performance. Mm, you know, he's three for three in grand finals of ICFC. And yeah, it's, it's stupid to bet against him. But I did and I lost all my money.